Egypt, marking its first year since the military coup that led to some of the worst violence the country has seen. Several arrests made as Muslim Brotherhood supporters called for a day of rage on the anniversary. Egypt has a long history of military leaders. Morsi's predecessor, Hosni Mubarak, was an air marshal. He managed to stay at the helm for 30 years. Following the country's Arab Spring, Mohamed Morsi was elected. He wasn't a military man. <coughs> However, the revolution's hopes of democracy were quickly dashed by a military coup, and once again there's a former army chief in power, this time Abdul Fattah al-Sisi. A representative of the Arab Lawyers Association thinks Egyptians have a lot to discover about their new leader. People of Egypt believe that the revolution has been stolen from them. If we, recall, if we just look back, they had a military dictatorship of uh, uh, Hosni Mubarak, they got rid of him. They had one year of a uh, a state which they didn't like, they liked, they voted for, but many people didn't like it. But the end result now, they have a, a military uh, regime. They have Sisi, who is, in my view, he is even worse than Mubarak, let alone what the Egyptians think. Uh, he's, he's doing all the things that even Mubarak couldn't do in terms of putting people in prison, in, in, in terms of prohibiting people from even demonstrating. It is still going through turbulent water. I think probably Sisi, uh, at the end of the year, will probably regret having accepted to become the president.